Are you crying? <laughs> hey guys! Hello, internet. So look where we are! We're back from tour! Where are we? I don't know who I am! We're who are we? It's been so long. When are we? I don't know anymore. So Hi, we're back. after doing 82 shows, we found it quite hard Christ. to integrate ourselves back into normal society. So we're back in our apartment and everyone's like, hey, Dan and Phil, yeah. hit us with some of those main channel videos. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, no, it's a tough one. So I thought we could ease ourselves back in gently because what is the best kind of video to make? that you don't need to do much for, and you can do your favorite thing at the same time. What? Eating. That is a good way to lure me into doing anything yeah, that I hate. Like, like, like a mysterious animal. Come on, I've got snacks. So we're gonna do a mukbang. Muk, mukbang? Muk, mukbang. Mukbang. Muk, mukbang. Muk, mukbang. Muk, mukbang. Muk, mukbang. Muk, mukbang. So it's where you eat food on camera. That, I think that's it's That's what a, I thought it was. I, yeah. But the definition is eating a lot of food on camera. See, this is the thing. I think it's, I think it's sexual. But I think it's a kinky thing. It's not it sexual, is. It's like, sexual if you do, thing. The whole thing of mukbang is like, tiny Asian girl eats 12 million noodles. It's absolutely a king. But the thing is, for us, that's just dinner. I don't care so if you <laughs> think you like watching your favorite YouTubers have a little gossip and eat some food. It's sexual. So I don't think this is the pure mukbang experience. No. But I hope it's just as kinky as you want it to be. And as you can see, we are extremely casual right now. This is, I think this Phil's... is my most casual outfit. That was a bit too casual. <laughs> these... can, we, can we talk about these? <laughs> these are what I wear on a day where I'm not going to see another pajamas. human. I hate about so much. I have got Game of Thrones pajamas on ba, 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 right ba, ba, ba. now. So whenever we've been on some kind of harrowing journey or Whenever adventure, we've just been really upset. Not that the tour was not harrowing. Not that we hate our career and our accomplishments. No. <laughs> but when anything's very difficult and emotionally draining, yeah. we fill the hole. When you get back with dominoes. That's the only thing you can get. Trash pizza in your... <laughs> I mean, it's nice. But it's like... <laughs> okay, it's not a... F look, it's right, like a it's not a pizza. fancy artisanal experience, Anal. okay? But for us, it does feel like the peak of human existence. It does. And it's very sacred. We are sharing this extremely sacred Dan and Phil tradition with you. Yeah, so why don't you get your own takeaway and join us for a little chat and We're like a two-way kinky thing. If you want to see Dan and Phil spilling the tea about their tour, how they hate each other, <laughs> and putting food in their mouths, and look, I've got my feet out. Oh my god. This, That's gonna, gonna be like on wiki feet in a minute. Can we order the pizza yes. now? Yes, ordering montage. <laughs> um, I guess now that we've placed the order, we can talk about something more important than pizza. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? It, it, I, it think, I, think I think it's, it's important. important. The thing that we've been going on about since the start of this year, our stage show, Interactive Introverts that we have finished touring around the world is now coming to DVD and Blu-ray. Yes. That is right. And you can pre-order it today. Today? Shopping, I'm shopping so channel. excited. Shopping shopping channel. Let me touch yeah. it. Hold Let me it. touch it. Sell it. Ooh. Sell it. There okay. Go. This isn't just a film of a show. It was oh, no. captured this on is, 11 this cameras. This is 6D. This is no ordinary filming of a show, okay? We have spent weeks, weeks. editing this in a dank editing cave to make this the ultimate way to experience our stage show. So whether you came and saw our faces on tour in real yes. life and you want to relive it again. Soak in the magic. Or if you didn't, in time. because you live in Antarctica, and Surrounded you want by to penguins. watch it in your Antarctic Finally, outpost, yes. now you can. Everyone in the world can own it forever. And it's not just the filming of the performance, no. it also comes with extras such as a uh, deleted scene Oof. that not everybody got to see. No. That was very fun for me to do. And also there's a director's commentary where we sat in a room and we just recorded right. ourselves having a bounce. It was like a mix of interesting <laughs> stuff like that you'd want to be in a director's commentary and also irrelevant banter. My mind did wonder. Two solid hours. And the disc version comes with an interactive simulation game. Ooh. 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 And you get to like hold Extras. it. Oh yeah, and it's like a, it's a beautiful a physical object. It's going to be on iTunes, Amazon Video, <laughs> Google Play. And you can buy the disc version from Amazon or HMV or Dan and Phil shops. But special um, news about that. Yes, uh, on Amazon it has a special holographic cover and Ooh. also comes with a, a poster and a little and, patch. And a so on patch. And some photo cards. And then on Dan and Phil shop, we have the exclusive limited VIP edition. Ooh, Ooh. So it's got all the blue art. This has ex whoop, exclusive blue and white artwork. Ooh, that also has a holographic lenticular cover. And this comes with three art cards of never before seen photos. Mm. And 
two pin badges that I'm putting on the screen now. Wow. We'll put the links to all the retailers down in the description. Um, and yeah, pre-order it and it'll be with you in time for Christmas. Yes. Shout out to the BBC, people at BBC Studios who produced it. Thanks for believing in us. Thanks, lads. turning into a movie. <laughs> Thanks, dudes. It's here. The pizza's here. You have to get it. I don't want to, I can't get it in my emoji pajamas. <laughs> you, you can't get it. Hello. This is an argument we have every time we order food. It's who is I'm more not embarrassingly dressed. I can't and go. I, I, I guess. I can't I, can, go. I concede on this particular day. He looks day. like Zac Efron. I can't go. In your fervor, you unlocked the Xbox cupboard. Oh my gosh. Cupboard. Good use of the word fervor. I don't want anyone to see him wearing those. Just go speak to Zach. I can smell it coming. <laughs> Give me the peats. <laughs> Give me the peats. <laughs> Yeah, yes. I'm so excited for this. I don't know why, because I always relate this to having come back this from some kind Christmas. of traumatic journey. Not, I have such a weird relationship a weird with thing. it. I look at it and I'm like, scared. Yes. <laughs> uh, slight issue. What? We've, we've run out of glasses. I'm not drinking out of the bottle. Uh, no, would you would you mind having your <laughs> soda pop in oh, a wine yes. glass? I'll be sophisticated Lester. Serve it for me, waiter. Excuse me, serve yourself. Ah! That nearly hit me in the balls. Mm, well, that's making it kinky, and that's no, what the people I, want. They don't want that. One of these things is not like the other. Is it the cookies? I... Spoiler. I, mean, I knew you were going to order the cookies. It's like the best part. Spoilers. Yeah. Right. So let's let's approach this methodically. Muck bomb. As you can see, there's a lot of dips here. I. I <laughs> Dan is the king of dips. We've talked about that. It is known. I am only alive when I'm dipping carbohydrates in condiments. Yeah. So I've got all of the dips. You, he holds them like smell. You don't even, even like them. It. I like the barbecue dip. Fine. I want that one. I'm, now, I'm so basic with my dips. I literally just have the barbecue one. What a Maybe some ketchup if so, I'm feeling exotic. Side one. We have... <laughs> it looks so nasty. <laughs> it's so good. The nugs. We got the nugs. You have to have them. Billy right? needs I, his you, nugs. You might be... Stop. <laughs> This is us at our most vulnerable. Also, right Dan now. tears the boxes. Also, up. What for are you a doing? pleasant look. Okay, you got this. They make it terrible, right? No one does this. They, I do this, and it's very important. It's the now perfect. It's neat. Yeah, exactly. It's neat. It's neat. And then you put the lid on the cardboard you don't use. Slap. Not making life it pack. Yeah. You might be wondering why we sat on the floor. That, that's a oh, thing. Oh yeah. We we haven't sold our sofa. We just thought it'd be more like a picnic it's a lot, vibe. This is more casual. It's more casual. We don't sit at a dining table. We sit on a sofa. But if yeah. we sat on a sofa, then you wouldn't be able to you see a see table. The food. So this is we're doing it like Japanese people. I'm enjoying it. Though. Exactly. I have very wide hips for a man, so this is quite comfortable for me. I can do the um. You oh know, God, don't do that. Your feet you won't get the then... other way. The window change. Uh, can you really not do it? Nearly. Woo! Every day in assembly, I just used to sit like that for lols. What a freak. And now, I just have the most open hips you can ever see. You could give birth to triplets at the same time. Okay, just squeeze them out. Object two! Shut up! Obviously. <laughs> Chips. They aren't fries, they're wedges. You need the wedges. Yeah. They're, they're just vessels for the sauces. I don't really care what they are, as long as it's fried and probably beige. And then, the pizza de la resistance. I think it's just dirt. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, they've done it well. This is the ultimate pizza order, okay? We have decided this over years. Yeah. And we always get this because it's the best thing. I'm already offended because they forgot the jalapenos. They what? That like makes the pizza. Always something. At this is why we should pizza. have a jar of jalapenos in the fridge. Yeah. Also, there's one oh, slice. Jalapeno. Anyway. There's one slice with nothing on it as well. That can be yours. <laughs> this is half and half large original crust. Yeah. Texas barbecue supreme and the sizzler Texas barbecue barbecue base chicken bacon grilled peppers onion it's like the sweet it's bit the sweetest it's like thing. the dessert it's just sugar this is literally dessert but then the sizzler we have sun dried tomatoes spices and garlic base, beef pepperoni jalapenos but they're not onions, there onions chili flakes we substitute tandoori chicken for ground beef mm. And voila. Um, so Phil, you're a famous cheese phobe. Yeah, people, people are gonna think this is weird. The thing with pizza is all of the toppings and barbecue sauce and everything disguise. Drown out the cheese. And what kind of cheese is it? Parmesan? Mozz 
<laughs> mozzarella. <laughs> yeah, I didn't taste of anything. Anyway. Okay, a mozzarella just tastes of air, and this is like super plastic mozzarella. mozzarella so top air, that with like... loads of sugar and feels fine. Dan doesn't like eating on camera, so I'm hoping I can no, just eat I the whole thing. I often don't like having dinner on camera because yeah. I don't like upsetting vegans oh, if okay. I'm eating any kind of meat or dairy. But you say I, I, I am like vegan Most maybe of the like time. six days a week right mm. now. It's just that one pesky day a week where I'm not. I'm a bad influence. Um, but you, you are. Here's the tea. Here's the first one. Phil is a really bad influence in my life. I'm a morally. I'm a bad meat fluence. More than that. Just, just lo- a lots, food fluence. Lots of things. It's not just food. <laughs> and I hear people say, "So why, Dan? Why would you order something covered in chicken and beef if that's the case?" <laughs> Let me introduce you to a term called cognitive dissonance. That's why right, everybody, because I'm weak and flawed. Yeah. Look how fancy this cup is. You look great, Phil. I could be a sommelier. A good whiff of this. Those pyjamas smell yay. <laughs> uh, ooh, the bouquet. It's very chemical. Woo! Oh, careful! That was almost all over the nugs. That would have been a category, that, that would be a category I, nine. I would cr- like, I don't usually get mad or upset. But that's the kind of thing where I'd like throw stuff around the room. Cheers, okay. lad. To... to somehow surviving a world tour, to creating content, to DVDs and Blu-rays, and to pre-ordering interactive introverts on DVD and Blu-ray. So since we've been back, since we've been back, since we've been, I've been back, where, where do I want to start? I'm just having lots of Palette dipping. Palette tour. This is just very interesting. The first thing I went for was a wedge and barbecue sauce. You're a fascinating guy. Have you been outside since we've been home? <laughs> we went to the cinema once. We went to the cinema once. Saw First Man. It was good. Anyway. I went to an art fair. I did some... Oh yeah, Phil went to an art fair. Yeah. I was inside, like, playing Guild Wars, feeling sad. It was so like, fancy. Oh, I'm wearing a scarf. Look I at had... him talking about going to art fairs. I had, to, I had to rename changed. myself Jenkins. I saw one of you guys at the art fair. Another cultured person that watches Dan and Phil. Those are the kind of people that yeah. subscribe to Dan and Phil on YouTube. And she was like, oh my god, can I have a selfie? And I was like, yeah, sure. sure. That's fine. We're at an art fair. Took a you selfie. You barbecue all over your thumb. Oh, that's good. I can lick it off. Took a selfie... In and front of some... I mean, there's going to be art in the background no matter what you do yeah. this art fair. I look around. We stood in front of a giant wall of penises. <laughs> that was the art. <laughs> that was the art behind us. The art that neither of you noticed, but you just happened to be walking by. Yes. Was like... What was it? You said it was like an entire wall that was a canvas print of an orgy. So I was, I was like, why don't we take the pictures? Was it artistic? Was it tasteful? Were they French? I don't know who they were. I didn't stare at it for too long. But Thankfully, not. we leaned to the side and had another selfie. So... Nice. Avoided the porn. Oh my god. Mm. This is my first pizza bite. I can't believe you're just like talking. If you were a religious person, you would be a fooder. It's so food-a-file. important to me. <laughs> the first bite. Someone said that they want a mukbang video just so they can hear your noises while you eat. Look at my feet. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> It's incredible. Dan's not going to speak for this video. He's just going to be like... It's incredible. Having a religious experience. I've had so many pizzas. This is the best pizza. I'm so sorry. There's so so many different dominoes around the world. We've had American, Australian, German, Mm. trash. It's got to be from the UK. Where's the tea? Well, you're the bad influence in my life. Yeah. I thought the penis wall. That was some good tea. (laughs) It's so embarrassing. Why? why? I don't know. (laughs) You do you. (laughs) The bread is so good. <laughs> a poem by Dan. To me, food isn't just about something that I have to do to stay alive. It's yeah. my one rest from being in pain, existing moment to moment. Yes. Like, to me, if someone talks to me... Or if my phone if goes off, Dan is me, like, put your phone on silent. Anything. The thing is, like, all is my, my anxiety my goes away. Food is a bit of a coping mechanism. Is it? I feel like... Are we having therapy I, now? I know... I just want to spill the tea. Tea it's for pizza. therapy. Spill the tea. For therapy. That's yeah. what tea stands for. Oh, is it? For. I thought it was like the gossip, like... It's not, Phil. People I, was making a jo- I was making oh. a joke. Oh. <laughs> um, I feel like I need to learn to cope with existing day-to-day without something fried. Maybe we could replace that with a hearty game of tennis. Shh, Four. That's... Oh, that's golf. S- it's not as tasty, is it? Well, we just poked a lot of holes in that, didn't we? I was having a chat with some of my friends from home. And they were like, Phil. <laughs> I have friends from home. I don't talk to anyone. And they were like, Phil, out of all of the people in our friend group, we would not have expected you to go and do all of this stuff. What do you think of that? And that's they all the thought thing. that Phil would just be a librarian. Not there's anything wrong with being a librarian, but, but that's what Phil seemed like he'd be thing. emotionally. I was su- I wasn't like I used to be a librarian. Was a yeah. librarian. I wasn't the shyest person ever, but I was in quite an extroverted group of people and I was quite quiet. 
Yep. So the thing is, I think mm. I wouldn't call for a haircut. I had to get my mum to call the hair salon. A lot of people have phone anxiety. Well, that's, that's the but thing. But it's crazy that you can go from that to performing to, in no. front of 6,000 people. In yeah, LA. but it wasn't yeah. just phone. It's like if there was a family event, like a wedding, I would like dread it for three weeks before <laughs> yeah. it happened. I'm confident talking to people. I just really hate talking to people. I hate talking about myself, mm. ironically, because that's, that's my life. The thing is with me, I have all of these loops of thoughts in my head that yep. are like, everyone's gonna judge you for doing this thing wrong, or you're not gonna say something funny, or you're gonna say it wrong, uh-huh. or everyone's gonna be looking at you. Yep. But I think going on tours really helped me with that. Because yeah. now I know if I like had a family thing, or I have to go to somewhere, or I, I have think to a lot go of to a party, yeah. I would be a lot less bothered. I think that's because our audience is so nice. Yeah, you've like helped you me realise. If you went realize. to loads of video conventions and went on tour and met loads of people, yeah, and everyone was a dick, <laughs> then you'd be really like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. But Phil goes, you know what? Well, so nice. I believe in myself. But also the thing is that I realise everybody else has their own emotions. Because there's a part of the show where we talk, we get, get real with the audience. Oh, yeah. And nobody I, cares about you. No one cares about me. just care about themselves. Yeah, no one cares what I'm doing. No one's looking at me. Everyone's thinking like, what am I wearing? What am I doing? What am I thinking? Yep. And when I started to realise that... It's all fine. Less worries. I feel like a breezy balloon. So that's one of my takeaways. I'm approaching the sizzler. Mm. Okay. My oh. God. Look at the spices on this. It's spicy. Now, it's you good. saw how much I reacted to the Texas barbecue. I'm ready for this. We've both agreed several times that this is actually... The superior taste. I've just experience. had a bite. It's the best one. All eyes are on you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you should just do a silent mug bang while you just do faces. Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> really good it's very unhealthy being on tour we stopped doing exercise we did so much exercise before we went on this tour yeah we knew that we needed to be healthy so we did like two hours of exercise a day for how long we we're pretty fit four months in march yeah <laughs> now we're like back to where we were six months the pancakes are we gonna get a personal trainer again i feel like i have to i feel mm. i'm like i'm the sort of person where if i hate doing something i'm just not gonna do it yeah and i haven't learned to love exercise especially hard varied exercise mm. I've had gym subscriptions, I've never gone. Whereas I've had personal trainers, and they've made me do it, and I've done it, so... We did boxing, and I was quite good at that. Yeah, but are you going to go to a boxing gym yourself? No, I enjoyed punching you. I think that, <laughs> I think that's what it was. That was terrifying. I'm not very good, though, because there's lots of, like, lefts and rights, and I still don't know my left and right. The trainer had his work cut out with Phil. He was like, what's happening? Right hook, and Phil would be like, left <laughs> uppercut. <laughs> are you paying attention? Left kick to You're the You're going to get bopped. Maybe I could be the next person in the ring in the YouTube <laughs> boxing competition. <laughs> I'm like, so right. sad about culture. Oh. Me. Mm. Here we go. Dan versus Phil. To the death. Hey, you're doing well. You're eating and people are watching. Don't talk about it. People don't like being confronted about things they don't like. Yeah. What's just wrong about politics? If you say you're doing something that's harmful, you need to change your behavior. Mm. People just get their backs up. Yeah. And then they don't do it. People don't be like, you're doing something wrong. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. I'm going to learn from it and apologize. And then I'm going to tell other people about it. I'm going to write a about a place. If you're going to be like, you're doing something wrong, people are going to be like, what do you say about me? I hate you. Yeah. That's true. So Shouldn't have brought it up. Are you proud of what we did? I'm really proud of what we did. Yeah. There was a moment, I'd say, a month before we did it that I didn't think it was going to happen, in a way. Because I was having a mental breakdown. Dan was having a breakdown. There was too much work to do. Like, there was so much to do. But we just had to get into full-on, intense work mode. And we worked. We didn't sleep. We we haven't slept since April. No. But that, that... We've been editing this DVD because we had to do it as soon as we got back for it to come out yeah. before Christmas. Because this is coming out at the start of December, right? Mm. If it came out two weeks later, people go home, and then it would have been 2019. We didn't want that, so we had to come straight back from doing the tour into editing the tour. I still haven't slept. I'm just astounded that we even had time to make gaming videos while we were on tour. I'm so happy that we managed to do that. Yeah. But people are still like, Dan, where is your videos gone? That's a really good question. Where are your videos? Let me know when you know the answer. I appreciate the little things. Like, I appreciate that this bit of crispy onion... <laughs> is incredible. Are you okay? No, but yeah. I'm sure in a couple weeks I'll be like in the zone. I really enjoy being an entertainer. 
I like making content. I like yeah. being funny on social media. Yeah. I like making YouTube videos. I like performing on stage. Mm -hmm. I liked doing the radio mm. with you. I don't love being a full-time YouTuber because success on YouTube is all about just having the most views as possible. Yeah. And you're being compared to everybody. And that stresses all the time. you out. And it's like to be a good YouTuber, the algorithm just the wants algorithm. you to make content as often as possible. Mm. And the kind of videos that I'm used to making on Dan is Not On Fire don't work like that. No. So it's very distressing. So either I need to think about fun ways to make some content that's more into giving YouTube what it wants from me. Yeah. Or I just do it as and when I feel like it in the way that I'm doing at the moment. I think people just want you to be happy and happy well, with your makeup. that is... That's the question. Another question, Phil. I think a lot of the problems is often people are like, Dan, what's he thinking? What's his reason for doing things? What are his motivations? What are his yeah. secrets? I don't know. You yeah, don't know. I don't yeah. know. So you're like a bear and you'll come out of the cave when you feel like it. Totally. Coming out of your cave and you'll feel just fine and you'll make a video. Are we keeping track of who's eating what? I don't know. Who's going to have the... You have to have that one. That's too cheesy because there's no toppings. There is literally no cheese on it because all the cheese fell off. I'm quite easy going yeah. when it comes to my I'm channel. I'm not saying that what I make is great. It's just that for me to create, I have to be very intense well, that's, about it. That's fine. And you can still see him on the gaming channel. <clears throat> What is it about seeing all of our followers in real life that you liked and will miss? I think it's when I make a video, I'm on my own. I'm far removed from all of these comments. Yep. All of these people out there, all of these tweets. It's just it's just nicer. Especially if I'm like saying a joke and I get to see you laugh in real time in the not audience. Not in a self-indulgent. No. It's more gratifying to hear clapping. No, not but at all. But on an emotional level, it's just so amazing to see the joy. Yeah. And there's the stories that people tell me that they're like, I've made friends because of you guys, or I made friends at this tour, I had the best time of my life. It really changed my perspective on who all of them are going on this tour. I know, because sometimes people are like, oh wow, Dan and Phil's- They allow people to stand out. Yeah, Dan and Phil's audience are all this one kind of person. No. But they're not, there's Firstly, such a diverse you are group. so old. There's lots of, loads of people that have stuck with us people for 10 like, years. I'm the oldest person here, I'm 19. No, you're not. No. On a visceral level, you know what I'm going to miss? What? Having a purpose. Because when you're on tour, you, you, wake you are up. just there to wake up and do the show. Mm. And now that I'm back from tour, it's like, what am I going to do today? Play a lot of Spider-Man, that's what you can do. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. PS4 Spider-Man is my soulmate and I would die for him. Mm. Hey, we were going to light a candle and we never did it. Are we going to go for flannel? Phil buys such plebby candles. Autumn. No, that stinks. We can't have autumn. Ugh. That is not autumn. I don't know what you think they were smelling. That's like vanilla and cotton and pine, which is not autumn. Got your candle. Look, okay, right. That's good. You brought my candle over. Yeah. That's that's sexy. It's not very autumny though. One day I will do a candle haul. Yeah. This one is candy corn. Oh god, this is the most oh. fill thing. Oh, we're not ready for that yet. Oh, that it's is nice. sweeter than that barbecue pizza. That's that's like my inside. I'm kind of glad you forgot to light the candle because I feel like smelling flannel. Bath and Body Works candle while we're eating pizza might be a bit right, much fine, okay. of a sensory experience. I'll just light it later. Are you glad to be back in the apartment though? I know despite not having a purpose. Um, <laughs> thanks. Yes. Well, that was a really undercooked wedge. Living with you is really stressful. No, it's You're not. really messy. I'm not. You're really messy. I'm getting better. I, I don't know why, nice but I've, just become, I've become really clean and organized and feels like leave all the cupboard doors open, socks. You're not like, Slobby messy. No. You don't leave like food anywhere. Mm. It's just clutter. You're a very cluttery I've person. I've got a lot of things. Yeah. But I think everyone needs a lot of things. I just, that's the thing though. After being on tour, I had the same possessions in a bag for five months. Bag. And I didn't, in a, in a bag. In a sack. <laughs> I carried them in my pants <laughs> and I didn't miss anything. No. I had like three outfits for like the whole freaking summer because everything else shrunk in the wash. Yeah. And I was like, can deal with it. Honestly, do you know what my dream life would be? What? It would be whenever I go to like an event or anything, I have like a team of stylists a team. that would put Not together just one stylist. iconic, like full <laughs> BTS. People. Like you'd rock up to the event and like, there's a look. You're serving a look. Yeah. But day to day, normal life, full Zuckerberg. What, same like, clothes every like, day? Or like, so like three outfits. It'd be so boring to look at every day if you're just wearing a black t shirt. But the stress of opening a wardrobe every day. Just choose the different thing along the line. <laughs> That's how you end up with ensembles like this. Hey, my friend's t-shirt is lucky. That's great, actually. Is that a pizza slice? What? What? Who cut this? <laughs> Who cut this? 
Like, mate, you absolutely phoned it in. What is like, this? Like, are you even? Are you even trying? That is not a slice. And then we're left with that. Something I've noticed as I've got older. Yeah. Is I'm more sensitive now. In what way? Like, I cry more at stuff. Was like 18, I wouldn't cry at anything. Yep. But yesterday we were like, oh, let's watch The Handmaid's Tale, and I was like, I, you were harrowed. I was like, I can't watch this. Rightly so. This is horrible. Yeah. I, I couldn't watch. I was like, I am not enjoying my tea and biscuit <laughs> right now. I had to stop. I was like, I need to watch The Office. Yeah. I just I that can't. was really funny. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. I'm, I'm a more sensitive soul. I don't know if that comes with age or I'm life experience. Anxious. You're more anxious. I panic about everything all the time. Why are you worried? I don't know. Character progression. Mm. It's good. See, I'm not in a rush to put myself out there a lot. Because yeah. I'm at this point in life currently where I feel like I'm growing a lot as a person all the time. Like, rapidly. Like, I look back at my life three months ago and I'm like, ugh. So I'm, like, happy to be in a cocoon until I'm ready to be like, Ta-da! Jazz hands. <laughs> which gonna, might be two weeks. Are you going to be a jazz know, musician? Just need to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to be a jazz drummer. Full whiplash. Good. I lied earlier. I did go home. I went to go visit my family. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Not my no, family. Your family are nice. Going to my hometown. Oh, my God. I worked so hard yeah. to escape from the first 18 years of my life. But I bet everyone... I don't is... hate you if you're all watching this. But I bet everyone is still there. Like, in the same place. a lot place. of internal... Yeah, they are. And, like, having to get a train to the same place, I'm like... If I see a single person that I knew from any point in my life, I'm gonna. I did something really weird. What? I noticed <laughs> what? a girl yeah. that I may have known from some point in my life in Reading Train Station. No. <laughs> you lied. But I went full splinter cell because I saw her coming. Do, do, I do, ran do, in the opposite do. direction. You could have just said hello. <laughs> no, 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 no. There was a photo booth against the wall. Yeah. I, <laughs> I walked around the corner and when she comes around the corner, this is so exposed, it's so open. I stood behind, I crawled, like, I stood against the wall and I shimmied behind the photo booth. No. And I stood you there. You stood behind the photo, there's like loads of spiders behind photo booths. It's like urine and broken oh. glass. For like a good 20 seconds until I knew the case was absolutely clear. And then I just walked in the opposite direction and just got a train that was leaving in two minutes because I was like, no. Small talk. No, Can't do it. No. I bet she saw you. Probably. She'd be like, wow. Saw you. Saw you. Northern Phil. I said earlier, what did I say earlier? I said, oh, do you want something to put you on before we have dinner? I was like, what the hell language are you speaking? You know speaking? what that means, put you on? He's absorbed every language from all the countries we went to. Put you on. on is a northern thing, yeah. I, I found out, which is just a little... These s- are amazing chicken nuggets. They're good nugs. Better than my weird raw wedge. It's, it's what you say is, if you're going to have your dinner... You have a little snack before to put you on, like, if you're really hungry. When you explain it, it makes sense. Yeah. But when you say it to any group of people that went from some weird valley... They're like, what? You look insane. Sometimes when I'm sad and miss my old house, I go on Google Maps and just sit on the street. <laughs> look at my Google house. probably has your IP address listed as, like, weird <laughs> like, potential stalker. Why is he there? I did that yesterday, didn't I? He was like, why are you just staring at your old house? Planning a break-in. I'm getting full. I, I, because we've been eating healthy. I'm not used to this size of. You have food. to have it. It's not a mukbang. You have to I have the it. rejects. Like, it's oh. not a mukbang unless you are a tiny girl in pain you don't from have to consuming be a girl. so much. There's boys that do them. They're like 19 they million though. calories and in my mouth. There we go. That's what they came for. Mukbang. <laughs> do you ever feel like you don't have a personality? What? Okay, scratch that. Next conversation. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Just move on. You've got a personality. Do I? Yeah. Is it just not one of the many faces I choose to put on? <gasps> not if you're just like hanging out with me. Like, why would you be putting on a face? Is it just my fill face that I've learned to be comfortable with? Maybe. Maybe you're actually just a vampire and nobody knows it. A dog was here yesterday and we've got flea bites now. So I feel like we just got Frank. Fleas, fleas hopping around the apartment. It sat on this ass bites. Ass bites from this video. And that flea is going to be fat and happy. It's going to be like he's doing his own mukbang in Flea World. So there's some fleas eating our ass, and they are broadcasting themselves oh. on Flea oh. Tube. Rewind. And, Rewind. And then they've got little microbes on them, and See, they're on I was going to say eating ass in my living my truth video and then I thought it was too crude I never thought that you'd be the first one to say it I was saying it about the fleas actually biting our ass yeah and you're sitting on its face right now I am I'm gonna get up I think I could live without possessions just in a hole would you not like miss being soft and warm on a sofa a soft warm hole 
<laughs> Absolute filth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Drinking to forget how we felt. <laughs> so I texted my mum and I was like, I'm going to come see you because I've not seen my parents in ages. And she said, oh, it's cold up here. Bring a vest. What? What, what is a vest? <laughs> what, like, do people own vests? Sorry, is it the Victorian times? <laughs> it's like, sure. I don't own any vests, mum. Get those guns out. For the north. <laughs> what do you, what do you if I just wore a vest? You pull it off. I would, not, I would not pull off a vest. You would in a punk cut it. Can you finish a cookie right now? Hell yeah. Really? Yeah. I can have a cookie. Well then finish the cursed slice. No, F that. Harry Potter and the cursed slice. I don't want it. Ate it. I can't believe we've left food Neither behind. Of it. They're cursed slices. This is, this is the nine and three quarters so right So unlike us. On to a dessert. A dessert. Phil, fix us two milks. I'll go milk the cow. Okay, these cookies. They are what? crunchy, chewy, warm, and gooey, apparently. Don't. That was. That just got this flagged. They've obviously been put in the fryer with the pizza or something. I think something. they fry them. They make normal like cookies and then fried. they fry them. They're so good. Phil, microwave them. I, I'm not getting up again. I didn't tell you to sit down. You microwave them. Nine. Eight seconds. I've done ten. No. My precious. Cheers. Mmm. So I feel like this is kind in of- In this moment, I feel alive. What? The conclusion part of the, the muck. So in conclusion, what are your dying words? They are, this was fun. I would do another one with other kinds of food. I just like chatting. But would it be as good? Maybe not, but you know. So if you enjoyed literally anything about this video, <laughs> you will probably involve, involve, enjoy you interactive involve. introverts. I can't speak. If you're falling apart. Interactive bar, introverts. Sleep, sleep now. It's something that is meant to be owned on DVD, mm. to watch again and again, to see all the different layers. Because I think anyone that's seen it in real life will know it's a very overwhelming emotional roller coaster. Yeah. But we really tried to make it mean something. If this was the last thing we ever did, Phil, mm. what do we want it to be? What do we want to do? The answer is, we just want to make you happy. We do. We want to give you what you want. But what do you want? Who are you? Are you all the same? Do you want different things? Do you want good things? Should we even listen to you? At the end of the day, what even matters? What is it? That is what Interactive Introverts is about. Yeah. And we want all of you to watch it and to talk about it and to think about it. And that when I die, I'll be like, yeah, 2018, we made this. Not that you're going to die. But if I did, yeah, I'd be like, 2018, we made this. So if you want to ask for something to good. put in your stocking. It's coming out in December, Christmas present. There we go. Put, put it in your bomb. stocking. That... Links are below. <laughs> <laughs> We're professional. Bang. Slammed a milk. Muck. Oh. Muck bang. Uh, uh, and on that note, uh, here's the end screen. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> subscribe All to Dan. Right. Subscribe to me. Oh yeah. Subscribe Follow me if you're interested. I'm not promising you anything. Gaming channel. The latest video is in the I'm middle. I'm on there. Ha enjoy I'm on it. Here. We love you, we appreciate you. Thanks for watching this. You're insane if you are. <laughs> Bye. Have a nice life. Bye. Cheers.